Hello again, readers! It's me, Raimski, and welcome to another book review for 2022. Ah, love saying that. And in this quick video, hopefully quick video, I will be reviewing an advanced, a digital advanced reader's copy of All That's Left in the World by Eric J. Brown. I hope you guys can see that properly because this book reader or ebook reader is not doing any justice to any graphics. <laughs> Trust. The cover for this one is gorge. It's yellow and they it's colored, basically. <laughs> so I just wanted to tell you guys that this novel, this book, is just filled to the brim with hope and whenever i read this book i feel very very hopeful because you see the story in this novel is about these two boys and how they are facing the end of the world as they know it because in this novel right after covid 19 the world is faced with another kind of pandemic and this super flu, as what they call it in this universe, is just too contagious. The hospitals was just in full capacity every single time. There are already bodies scattered all over the roads. They cannot cremate or Actually, it should be cremated because, duh, it's a respiratory illness. Uh, anyone who died out of respiratory illnesses should be cremated. So they cannot cremate the bodies fast enough. So in other words, in less than a year, more than half of the world's population died. Of the world's population. Remember that. So these two boys actually met one day accidentally because one of them had an accident and just stumbled upon the other <laughs> when he was just minding his own business and from then on tried their best to look for civilization so something happened that made them go out of the shelter that they have been living in and they tried their best to find other survivors and throughout that journey i myself watched these two boys these two boys not only grow to care for each other for one another but also they matured in that span of time in the months that they have joined to find other survivors of the pandemic. And it was just so hopeful. It is, again, once again, I have, like what I've told you guys a few seconds or a few minutes ago, it is filled to the brim with hope, with longingness, with, I don't want to say love because it is overused, but it is filled with love, caring. One of the things that I must say that made me almost cry at the end because I was really so shocked at the plot twist is that when something bad happened, when that plot twist happened, I was just holding my breath because all I can think about is, oh, please, please, please don't get worse. Don't get worse. Don't get worse. Please be okay. And... Eventually, things worked out in the end, and that is all I'm gonna say without spoiling you guys. So, so if I made you guys want to read about this book, which actually <laughs> comes out today, March 8th, please go grab yourself a copy from your nearest bookstore, because I'm going to tell you guys you're not going to regret reading or buying this book. It was just oh so beautiful. So with all of those said, 
I will be giving this novel, this debut novel by Eric J. Brown, 8 out of 10 stars. Because again, it is just that good. It is so beautiful, it's so hopeful. And in the midst of this pandemic we're all facing, we need hope. We all need hope. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this quick, quick book review of All That's Left in the World by Eric J. Brown, which again comes out today, 8th of March, 2022. And if you guys did like watching this video, please do give me a thumbs up. Or if you did not, please be honest and give me a thumbs down. Also, you can all subscribe to my channel if you want for more book review videos or unboxing videos of book boxes. <laughs> also, before we end this video, you all could follow me on all of my social media accounts. And those are Bookstagram, Book Twitter, and Book Talk, which all have the same handle, at Raimsky Reads. Again, this is Raimsky asking you guys to please hunt, discover, and read those queer books. Queer? Out!